Today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a product to your code, view it in your cart, go to your checkout page, and then when you choose a particular payment gateway, you're going to realize that you have a different value for each one of those payment gateways, so that you have different fees for handling or shipping or whatever it is, basing on the payment gateway. If you are interested in this, let's jump into the code right now. Inside my plugins folder, I'm going to create a new folder called uh, TechiPress Gateway Costs, and I'm going to add it inside my editor. And I'll create a new file which I'll call TechiPress Gateway Costs.php. And of course, I'm going to start off with our headers that we apply in the comments for our plugin to actually start. So I'll add some headers inside my plugin here to kick us off, and of course for extra fee for the particular payment gateways. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is add an action, and we're going to tap into a WooCommerce hook which is called WooCommerce, WooCommerce card calculate fee. We are going to tap into the hook of WooCommerce, which is WooCommerce card calculate fees, and here we shall add on our own method which is our TechiPress card fees gateway. Uh, not very descriptive, but it will help us with whatever we need to do. So I'll copy this and then I'm going to start writing our function, and with this hook we actually get back an object that we can use, and that is called the cut object. So with this cut object, if I was to use it, I can get the cut and then go to the add fee, there's a method that's chained to the add fee, and inside this add fee you can actually add your fee, so we're going to choose a fee which we're going to call handling, and we're going to say for now it's maybe five dollars, and we're going to say this is true. So I'm going to save this, and then come to my checkout page, and you're going to see when I reload we have a handling fee of five dollars here, but this is on every kind of payment gateway that I choose. I need to change this so that it can only work on one particular gateway, all the different gateways can have their own particular fees. So let's jump into the code again. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is say if we are in the admin area, if is admin, and if the doing Ajax is not defined, because we want people to be able to see real time our changes in the pricing, we're going to use things like Ajax to allow an auto update, so if that's not defined then we are going to return, we're going to say you know what, stop whatever is happening and let us return. So let me properly format my code before we proceed. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look for the ID, so we're going to say the preferred Into preferred payment gateway ID, that's what we're going to look for, and the way we are going to get this is by typing inside WooCommerce, we check the session, and we're going to get the chosen payment method, and that's what we are looking for, so we're going to go for chosen, payment method, and what we're going to do to see this, we're going to just get this ID, and I'm going to chain it onto our title so that I can see it at the end of the day, so let me save this, come back here and reload, and you'll see that because we chose PayPal, it's showing PayPal, let me reload, you'll see that we still have PayPal, and if I try to change to the other methods, we don't see this changing because we've not actually kicked our Ajax to actually run, so we need to have our Ajax running, and I'm going to show you how to do that in the code. 
So we'll say Ajax update on get where change. So we'll add some comments here and what we're going to do next is add action and in this action we're going to tap the WP footer hook which will allow us to write our JavaScript or our jQuery down below. So we'll add TechiePress Ajax runner. I'll make this an underscore and then get this and write out the function. So come here, write function, Turkey press Ajax runner and pass this in. At this point we're going to check whether we are actually working with the REST API of WooCommerce or we're working with the checkout page. And when once this test is done, then we can run if statement and inside here we're going to check is underscore checkout and if it is not is wc endpoint underscore url then we're going to run the code. We shall escape the PHP and open the PHP down here but in between here we're going to run our script tags. So I'll duplicate this and close off the script tags. Now inside here we're going to do some JavaScript which I'm going to paste there and then explain what's happening. So what's happening here is I'm using jQuery and then saying when jQuery is loaded we're going to check for a form with a class of checkout and that is our checkout form that's on the end on the checkout page of WooCommerce. And we say on change, if there is any change on this form let's check for the input field that has the payment method and once we get that we're going to trigger an update checkout Ajax on the body of the code. So what we're going to do is save this and then let's come back and see what happens. So I'm going to reload this, when I click on this you will see that we have COD coming up, when I click on this you will see check, when I click on this you will see BSC, PayPal and then we have PayLeo showing up. So you can see the different methods that are available for us, so I'm actually just going to comment those out and so we can know what we are working with. So we have COD, we have check, we have PayPal, we have BSCS and then we have PayLeo. So these are the five different methods we have available for us to use. So the next thing that I'm going to do is say if the chosen method that we want, let's say we want to use cash on delivery. So we're going to say if we want to have cash on delivery, so I'll get this checkout ID, put it here and say if it is equal to COD, if that ID is equal to COD then we shall pass in this figure. So I'm going to save this, come back here, reload, when I click, when I click on cash on delivery you'll see the five dollars, when I click on check payments you'll see that the handling fee actually goes away. So that's how you add this right here in our code. Now I don't want to stop here, I want to extend this and say what if I had different prices for the different methods? Let's see that working out inside our code. Now before I continue to that I just want to add an if statement here to help us reduce errors that are going to happen. So I want to say let us return or let us do nothing if the checkout ID that we are looking for in the session is actually empty. So we're going to wrap this with the empty function and say if the checkout ID, if the method ID is empty then we do nothing, but if it is something then we pass in the handling fee. Now if we want to have so many pieces we're going to use a for each loop we're going to just loop over each one of those IDs, but the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to set an array of the different payment IDs. So in here we'll say this is our chosen IDs, chosen methods, IDs, and we're going to say it's going to equal to an array 
and inside this array we're going to have the different methods. So we'll say cod, or we'll just get what we have here, and say the cod will be taking three dollars, let me add the check now, I'll add a check, PayPal, BSC and Paleo and give them different values. So with each one of these I'm going to append a different value. Maybe for check it's cheaper to process it, so one dollar. PayPal takes a lot of money, so we'll say four dollars. BSC will take maybe two, and then Paleo, which is mobile, is going to take a lot of money, so we'll say maybe six. So these values that I'm putting here, will they'll take in the currency value of your WooCommerce setting. So with this array, instead of just having this if statement, I now need to change it to a for each loop so that we look through each one of these methods and then get the value. So we're going to say for each for each chosen method IDs, and we're going to say as chosen method ID, and we're going to get and we're going to get the value of each. So we're going to say amount. We'll then push our if statement through here and say if the chosen ID which I'm going to get here and replace this to make it dynamic, we shall say if the preferred ID, gateway ID we have here, is equal to the chosen method ID here, then we are going to get the amount and put it here, of course I'll remove this, this is, a, this is what we put to debug, I'm going to change this 5 and then make it dynamic, so I'm going to put our amount here and save this, so let's come back to our front end and then reload this. So when I go to direct transfer, you'll see we have two, check payments, you'll see we have one, cash on delivery we have three, PayPal we have four, mobile payments we have six. So you can actually make this into a fully fledged plugin that you can even sell to other people. All you need to do is make sure that it has WooCommerce setting, so that these can be dynamically added, so that anyone who wants to do this is able to do it. So if you want to see how that is done, I have a video that is already in the link below, that you can use to help you make this dynamic, and these are fields that you can always get from your WooCommerce side in the admin area and just put them inside your IDs right here. So if you really enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, let me know in the comments what you think about all of this, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet considered, otherwise enjoy your day.